There are many reasons why you might want to transfer your YouTube channel from one Gmail account to another Gmail account. It might just be because you want to change the Gmail account of your company and it might also be that you want to hand over your channel to another person or company, in which case we can say you want to sell your YouTube channel. But whatever the case might be, in this video I'll be showing you how to completely transfer your YouTube channel from one Gmail account to another Gmail account. If this is what you're looking for, then let's get right into it. Hello and welcome. My name is Tokwe Aomashe. If you're new here and you want to learn how to grow your YouTube channel, how to use YouTube to grow your personal brand or business, or generally learn stuff about YouTube, then start now by subscribing and clicking on that bell so you don't miss anything. Now, just before I show you how to transfer your channel from one Gmail account to another Gmail account, I want to let you know that this is only possible if your channel is a brand channel. I'm going to show you how to check this for your channel right at the beginning of this transfer process. So let's get started. So now we are on YouTube and this is the channel I want to use to explain this process. So first thing we want to do is click on the channel icon up here. Scroll down and click on YouTube studio. At the bottom left here, you find settings, click on that. And on this pop-up, you go to permissions right here. Now, this is what I want to show you. If you find these two options in this area, then your channel is a brand channel and you can make the switch. Okay. Now I'm going to get back to this point, but I want to show you what it would look like if your channel is not a brand channel. Okay. So now I'm in another channel's permissions and you can see that what it looks like is completely different. So if this is what you're seeing, then your channel is a personal channel and you would not be able to complete this process without making the switch to a brand channel. So if this is your case, you want to check the video up here to learn how to move your channel from a personal channel to a brand channel. That said, if you are on track and you want to continue with this process, let's get back to the former channel. Okay, we're back. Now at this point, what you want to do is to keep managing permissions in your brand account. Remember, it's all about the brand account features. So select this option that allows you to continue this with your brand account. Click on manage permissions. And then when you get to this page, click again on manage permissions. YouTube is going to ask you to verify by logging in again, just to be sure that you are the one doing this because this is a very important process. I'll just type in my password. Let's do the double verification. I'll click on send. I'm going to get a verification code on my phone. All right, I have it. So I'll just type it and then move to next. And then we are back to this page. Click on manage permissions again to continue the process. So here we have TGM test being the primary owner of the channel. And then what you want to do is add another owner. Okay, so we click on this plus here that says invite new users. So here you're going to type in the email you want to transfer this channel to. And then choose a role. Here I'm going to be choosing owner. Again, we are changing ownership. And next I'll click on invite to send this person an invitation. So inside the email, this person is going to accept the invitation. Let's jump right into the email. This is the invitation right here from Google My Business and it says TGM test invited you to own TGM test. So I'm going to click on this. All right. So you can see this reads TGM test invited you to share ownership of TGM test. So I'm going to accept invitation. You get to this page, accept again. And then now you have access to TGM test. If you click on manage permissions, it's going to ask you to log in again now as the second owner. So type in your password. click on manage permissions and you can see now that we have two owners, a primary owner and an owner. Now the next step is to make this second owner a primary owner and then later this second owner can remove the first primary owner and become the only owner. And then so we're going to click on this drop down here and select primary owner. Now this pop-up says can add and delete owners and managers. And then can change account permissions, can delete this account completely. Okay, these are the powers of primary owners. And so when I click on transfer, you see a pop-up below here that says 
primary ownership can only be transferred to a user who has been a manager for more than seven days. So what this means is that we have to wait seven days to be able to make this switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to a channel that I have already done this for that has passed seven days and then I would continue from there. Okay, so this is the channel I'm going to use to explain the rest of the process. Now, as the primary owner of the channel is your responsibility to grant the second person primary ownership. So what we're going to do now is go into the permissions of this channel and continue the process. Click on your channel icon at the top right here. Click on your YouTube studio. Go to your settings at the bottom left. Click on permissions. Manage permissions in your brand account. Click on manage permissions. It's going to ask you to log in again just to be sure that this is you doing what you have to do there we go click on manage permissions again now i want you to take note before we switch that the primary owner here is Tokwe, okay and then the secondary owner is t what we want to do now is switch primary ownership right so you as the primary owner you are going to do this yourself and relinquish your primary ownership to the new owner who is taking the channel over from you or to the new gmail address you want to move your channel to what we want to do next is to click on this drop down here and turn this owner into a primary owner as well click on transfer you can see now that things are switched around so you as the primary owner are no longer in charge you are now just an owner again this could just be a transfer between two emails that belong to you so click on done and inform the new primary owner that he or she is now in charge and then if this is just a switch between two of your emails log into youtube as the second email and if it's another owner tell the person to log into youtube and take the next steps i'm going to be showing you so let's do that right away again the new owner is t and then we're going to be logging in as t now and finish up from there all right, now we are on YouTube as the second email and we want to take over completely. So this is now TGM test in YouTube. And what you want to do now is check the channels you now have access to. You would see that you have access to your first channel if you do have another channel before now and the new one you've been granted access to. Otherwise, you'll see just this one as your only channel. But because this TGM test had a channel before, if I click on switch account, I'll see that the initial channel of T is still there, but then it has been granted ownership to this second channel. Now, if you do not have a channel before now, don't worry. This new channel that has been given to you is going to be the only channel showing here. So just click on this. You're logging in now as T and then follow the process again. Click on your icon, YouTube studio, settings, permissions, manage permissions as your brand account manage permissions you're going to log in again click on manage permissions again so here you can see that this is you tgm test in your space right now so what you want to do is just remove the first owner and that will be the end of the story so let's just click on x okay X here is going to remove Tokwe as the owner of the channel and it makes you the complete and only owner of this channel from now on. So let's do this. Click on X that says remove Tokwe. Remove Tokwe from the channel. Yes, absolutely. Click on remove. It says this user will lose all access to this account and any associated content, including YouTube and Google My Business. And yeah, that's it. So click on remove and boom you are the only owner of this channel right now now remember if you need to move your channel from a personal channel to a brand channel you want to check this video up here to follow my step-by-step -step process on doing this without losing any of your content your subscribers or your views now that's it right there thank you so much for watching i'll see you in another video and until then keep showing up and keep crushing it bye, bye.